hi everyone welcome to my channel thank you so much for joining us today then today i'm going to be sharing with you guys five money. rules or five rules of money if you're someone that is already making money you don't know how to keep money you're already making money i don't know how to go about it so that this money can stay or so that this money can multiply now those five rules of money is all you need now sit back and enjoy this video. but then make but sure you then subscribe to this channel subscribe to this channel subscribe please like and share this video then if you are a returning subscriber i love you all Please don't forget to like our video, share it for more people to benefit from this channel. Thank you so much and enjoy the rest of this video. Number one rule, don't rely on one source of income. Yeah, this is a very important rule in money. Don't rely on one source of income. Create multiple streams of income for yourself. If you want money to always be in your hands, if you want money to grow with you, develop multiple sources of income. Because in our country now, the, the way things are going up, product is, is increasing and the rest, you might not be able to meet up with one source of income. You need multiple streams of income. If you are someone that is doing job 9 to 5, it's time for you to get a side hustle business. If you are someone that is already in a business and your business is not giving you up to 7 figures, diversify. Get, get multiple streams of income. You can say, think of other things where you can invest in for more more income to be coming in number that is the number one never rely on one stream of income that's a two rule never income. increase expenses without income did you hear that did you hear that never increase expenses without increasing income it is money rule that's what i'm teaching you guys today money rules you can't just come and increase your expenses you are someone that you are earning as low as 20k per month and you go and you go and say you want to get married from getting married you start bearing kids or you will not live with one bedroom where you are staying you say you want to go to two bedroom you know you already you already expand you already increasing your expenses whereas your income is still the same it is wrong it's against the rule of money the rule of money is never you increase your expenses without first of all increasing your income the three rule to money is save at least 10 percent of your income yeah yeah don't just finish everything that enter your hand any money you got you finish it you squander it you say another one is coming after i'm already working another money is coming don't do that Make sure you save 10% of your money. There is something we call emergency fund. Emergency money. You can't just keep spending everything you have. And when you now have any emergency something, maybe so you fell sick or something, or call from the village, your mom, your father, your siblings, you just be running up and down. You don't know what to do. You don't even know who to borrow. And because nobody even agree to borrow you at that particular time. So that 10% that you always save, number one thing it does for you is like, Emergency help fund. you or something that you want to do at that particular time that, is, that came as emergency, it can help you to fund it at that particular time because, because, because when you are in emergency, that's when you know that nobody, nobody cares for you because serve as an emergency fund, just like I said. That maybe if there is a, an emergency call from home or from your you know something, or you are sick, your children and the rest, you need an emergency to do this thing urgently for, to, so, to revive life. That is one of the things it does. It helps you as an emergency fund. Then secondly, it's also a kind of, it can help you to start up another business. There are maybe, there's another business idea that you got, but you can't get the money in bulk for you to venture into that business. You can, from that, your 10% savings to, it can, part of it will just finance the business. Then another point again, is that this is your, 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 that is your own, the salary that you pay to yourself, apart from your expenses. You know, we normally think that our expenses, the things that we use our money to do, is already, is from there that we pay ourselves. No. The money that you pay for your, you pay yourself monthly as a business owner is different. It's totally different from the main money that you use. That's the main money you use and do your normal thing, run your normal business. It's different from your salary. You have to pay yourself salary from your business. You understand? Because with that payment, that's where you take care of yourself. Buy new clothing for yourself. Make your hair for women, you know. 
keep keep things going for your own and self. That, and that brings you don't us just to the number four your main rule. Business number rule. four rule is that don't go broke trying to impress others. Many people are in this shoe. Many, many, many of them. If you tell me to count now in my head, it's already ringing like 1,000 people already in this head that is on this shoe, on this thing now. Please don't go broke because of others. You are planning for shape and you know that you can't afford it. You have to go and take money that you are supposed to use for another thing just, just to please others, just to feel belonged. You know that you can't afford this lifestyle now. Calm down, chill, just run down your business. There are time for everything. There is time for everything. There is time you will get to you that you go even tired. You might not even be bringing out money to do those things again. So calm down, don't go broke because you are trying to please others. Because if you run out of cash today, they will not help you. Hires they might help you the first time, but they cannot continue helping you. So you are there to help yourself. Number five point don't is go develop go. money mindset. You want to please and this money mindset you are I'm telling you about. From the number one point, number four point, go and study it again. And this number five point, which is develop money madness, I will bring it out in the next video. Make sure you watch our next video after this one. Please don't forget to subscribe. Put on the notification bell for more so that I can be bringing you fine, fine gist in this, this our This channel. topic continues in the next video. Thank you so much. Please comment your view on that. Is it, it, it will motivate me more. Thank you. I appreciate you all. Thank you.